may think you know how to suture, but you definitely don't know all these tricks. Pay close attention. When you've only got a basic suturing kit and you haven't got an assistant, you need to palm your scissors to cut quicker for yourself. Put your ring finger in and turn the scissor downwards towards your palm. Have it on the side so it doesn't go into your hand. You mount your needle holder in the usual fashion and you take your forceps, ring finger and thumb, index finger and thumb. You enter at 90 degrees, rotate your wrist, mount the needle between the teeth of the forceps. Don't grab the tip, grab the body. Mount it straight away and palm your forceps right here. Don't put them down. You grab the suture and you pull it in one hand. This is not tug of war. You don't need to pull it like this. Just pull it in the one hand. Your forceps are here, your needle holder is here, and your scissors are here. This is economy of movement. Wrap the suture just around the tip of the needle holder by pushing forward. Your surgeon's knot and tie. You pull it forward, it makes the loop for you Put the needle holder in between, grab the short end at the tip, and alternate. One more time, push it forward, it creates the loop, and tie. Here's the magic. Everything into your left hand. Long suture in my left, needle holder in my left, put your finger into the ring. Watch this. Put your thumb in. Open the scissor, slide down, and cut. Here we go again. The needle is ready and waiting for you. Enter at 90 degrees. Grab the body, mount it straight away, palm your forceps. Grab the suture in one hand, and pull with just the one hand. The needle is nearby. You've only got a short end of suture. And you push the suture forward to tie around the tips of the needle holder. Your suture ends alternate. You grab the very tip of the suture. You pass all the instruments into your left hand. You flip the scissor. You open, you cut, and you rotate. 